There are a ton of budget true wireless earbuds out there, but how do you know which are worth the money and which are a waste of money? Because trust me, some do sound truly awful. Well, the answer to that question is to keep watching this video because today I'm gonna to show you the five best true wireless earbuds ranging from just 30 to $60. As prices are always changing, I'll throw affiliate links to all five buds in the description below so you can check out the prices in real time. A lot of them seem to be on sale right now, so hopefully you guys can get a good deal. Okay, let's get stuck in. Welcome back everyone, it's Mark here and I'm back to review some more affordable tech in my quest to sort the god tier from the garbage and hopefully save you some hard earned cash. In 2020, budget true wireless earbuds have massively upped their game. For starters, all the buds featured in this video now have Bluetooth 5.0 and USB-C charging, and one of them even has ANC, so watch to the end for that one. Let's get started with budget true wireless earbuds number five. They're the cheapest and best value for money out of everything in this video, the Boltunes BH020s at just $32. Hands down, these offer the best sound I've heard at this price point, and they're also tied for best microphone quality and call quality with earbuds number three. With their AirPod-like shape, these buds offer six hours of non-stop playback and a whopping 40 hours of playback overall, thanks to the charging case. They're also IPX8 sweatproof and waterproof too. The good news here is that they fit nice and secure, so they're perfect for light workouts, but do stay tuned if you're looking for something better suited to more intensive workouts. But at the $30 price point, the only thing you're sacrificing over other options in this video are touch controls. Instead, we've got button controls that do the exact same job, though they can be a little uncomfortable to press with the buds in your ears. However, I wouldn't really expect to see touch controls at this price point anyway. Fortunately, you can use those button controls to raise and lower volume, which actually isn't always a given in cheaper earbuds. The microphone quality is some of the best of the best at this price point, and even up to double or triple the price. But how does it fare with background noise introduced? Will you still be able to hear me? Well, here's the sound of a busy train, and here's me talking during a simulated busy environment. What do you think? Can you still hear my voice? In my opinion, you can, showing that the Boltunes, despite their price, have some amazing ambient background noise reduction. Sound quality wise, the Boltunes punch way, way above their price point. The sound signature is subtly bass boosted, meaning that whilst bass is deep and punchy, mids and highs are still given enough room to forge a dynamic range of sound. Translation, literally any genre sounds great on these bubs. If your budget is pretty tight and you don't particularly care about touch controls or the case being a little bulkier than some of the other buds in this video, then just buy these and thank me later. Next up at number four are the Tautronic Sound Liberty 79s and at just $40, they are the lightest and most compact out of all the buds featured in this video. But get this, despite the case and the buds being insanely compact, you're making zero compromise on battery life because the 79s offer a beastly eight hours playback in a single sitting with 30 hours overall with the charging case factored in. With wingtips on each earbud, they're also tied with the next buds I've got coming up for having the most secure and comfortable fit. That means they are perfect for more intensive workouts, especially since they are IPX7 sweatproof and waterproof too. The 79s also have touch controls, something which was totally unheard of at the $40 price point this time last year. And the great news here is that you can also adjust the volume using them too. Surprisingly, the microphone quality here isn't quite as good as the ball tunes with a little bit more of a muffled feel to my voice. But how will it fare when I introduce that background noise? Well, take a listen. And it has to be said that the Tautronic 79s have some of the best ambient noise reduction. However, clarity does take a serious hit as a result. So in terms of sound quality, the 79s are undoubtedly bass boosted, meaning all those kick drums, low notes, and even the low end of vocals are emphasized, making the 79s sound thicker and fuller, yet without overpowering those more delicate high notes. Without a doubt, 
hip hop and rap sounds unreal on the 79s, trust me, you just need to try them for yourself. Definitely don't hesitate to buy these if you love heavy bass in a pocket friendly case. Well, I'm rapping now apparently. Or if you're looking for buds with a super secure fit. At number three are the MPOW M30 Plus costing just $40, taking the prize for best battery life. And they're also the loudest buds in this video, making these my personal favorites. With five hours of playtime in a single sitting and 100 hours of battery life overall, thanks to the case, these buds offer the best battery life by a mile. Of course, the case is bulkier and heavier to accommodate that extra battery capacity, but funnily enough, the buds themselves are the lightest and most compact out of everything else in this video. They're IPX8 sweatproof and waterproof, plus they have wingtips for an incredibly secure fit, so they are equally as secure as the 79s when it comes to more intensive workouts. The M30 Plus also has incredibly intuitive touch controls and yep, they also have the ability to control volume too. My quality here is great in a quiet environment, probably on par with the bold tubes, very, very similar. But how will it fare with background noise introduced? What do you think? Can you hear my voice over that background noise? I have to say, maybe not quite as good as the bold tunes in terms of sheer background noise reduction, but certainly pretty good overall. The sound quality here is god tier for the price and easily better than most buds which are double or even triple the price. We've got a subtle bass boost here, though not quite as bass boosted as the Tautronic 79s. Hip hop and rap sounds incredibly punchy on these. And out of all the other buds in this video, they handle rock, classical music, movie soundtracks, you name it, the best by far. They're also the loudest, maintaining great clarity at higher volumes. But best of all, yes, there is more. The battery capacity is so beefy that you can actually use the case to charge your smartphone. Yep, the MPOW 30 Plus also functions as a power bank on the fly. So if you don't mind your case being a little bit bigger and battery life is a ultimate priority for you, then don't hesitate to pull the trigger on the MPOW 30 Plus. However, if you prefer a smaller case and you don't mind having lower battery life, but still keep everything else that makes the M30 Plus great, you should definitely check out the regular M30s. I'll link those in the description too. Before we get to the buds with the best sound quality, please feel free to follow me on my personal Instagram or Twitter because it is the easiest way to slide into my DMs if you have any questions about any of these buds at all. You'll find the links to those in the description below. Hit the like button on this video, subscribe before you leave, and don't forget to comment below what buds I missed out of this video. The comment with the most thumbs up will be linked in the description as the viewer's choice, so comment and vote wisely. Second from last at number two are the Soundpeats True Engine 3 SE at $60, offering the best sound quality of the bunch today. They're IPX6 waterproof and they're the only buds in this video to support the Aptex codec, which will mean a more stable connection and lower audiovisual latency when watching YouTube, Netflix, or if you're into mobile gaming. The True Engine 3s fit securely enough, perfect for light workouts, but without wingtips, they're certainly not quite as secure as the Tautronic 79s or the MPOW M30 Plus. They're a little bulkier than both of those buds too, so wingtips would have really helped here. Touch controls, however, are solid as expected, and yep, they also have volume controls too. Battery life here is great with 6.5 hours playtime in a single sitting and 30 hours of playback overall with the charging case factored in. So here's a quick microphone test of the Soundpeats True Engine 3. I have to say they are on par with the bolt tunes in a quiet environment, although a little bit quieter. So let's see how that comes into play when I introduce background noise. Now the background noise cancellation is decent, not the best, and coupled with the fact that the microphone is a little bit quieter when it captures my voice, it does mean that I am a little bit harder to hear than I would like, even though the background noise cancellation is pretty good. But what about sound quality? Well, the True Engine 3s are undeniably the best out of all five buds here with yet another bass boosted sound signature. The bass on these has that low rumble that I'd normally expect from a $200 Sony product, yet with the crisp highs and mids that you would never normally hear for $60. Soundstage also is without a doubt the best of the bunch too, with a great separation of instrumentation. Yeah, I'm, I'm rapping again somehow. 
So if it's sound quality above all else for you and you do have a little extra cash, then do yourself a favor and pick these up ASAP. Trust me, you will not regret it. Last, but by no means least, are the Orki EPN5 at $50, the best option for travelers and commuters because, wait for it, they have active noise cancellation. ANC in true wireless earbuds has normally been reserved for the $200 price point and upwards until now. The N5s are essentially budget AirPod Pro clones at a fifth of the price with a design that's suspiciously similar and the most aesthetically pleasing of the bunch. Their IPX5 rating makes them sweatproof, which is actually better than the IPX4 rating of the AirPod Pros, and they're more secure than all of the other AirPod shaped earbuds I've tried, making the N5s perfect for light or semi intensive workouts. We've also got touch controls here, which you can use to play or pause playback, as well as activate or deactivate ANC. However, you can't control volume using touch controls, so I guess that's another thing they have in common with AirPod Pros. Battery capacity is great, netting you seven hours playback in a single sitting and 35 hours overall, but spoiler alert, these numbers will decrease to 4.5 hours in a single sitting and 28 hours with ANC switched on, which actually still isn't that bad at all. The ANC performance here is absolutely stupid for $50 and they do an exceptional job of cancelling out all those low frequency noises like plane or train engine noise. Not gonna lie, the N5s do sound a little bit muffled, but they are certainly fine, more than adequate for your average phone call. But how will they fare with background noise introduced? Well, let's play it. As I'm sure you could hear, the background noise initially sounded pretty loud, but as I start talking, it focuses on my voice, and that is actually really impressive. So, overall, initial quality a little bit muffled, background noise pretty good, but still a little bit muffled. Sound quality wise, the N5s are the only buds in this video to bring a more balanced sound signature to the table, allowing them to maintain exceptionally clear mids and vocals, delicate high notes with punchy bass that doesn't overshadow all else. So if you're not into bass boosted sound signatures, these will definitely be more of your cup of tea. You are taking a slight hit in terms of sound quality compared to the Sound Peeps or the MPOWs. But if you are looking for an AirPods Pro-like experience at a fifth of the price and having ANC is essential for commuting or travel, it's safe to say you will not find better for $50. Here's a cross comparison of all the specs on all the buds featured in this video. Just pause the video here and take your time to weigh up all the different options before making that ever important purchase decision. But there is one extra pair of earbuds that just missed out on being in this video. They're the Tautronics 92s. They're $40 AirPod clones with a semi-in-ear design, perfect for those who don't like earbuds that sit right in your ear canal. So click here to check that out. Or you can binge your way through my True Wireless playlist by clicking here for all my latest reviews. So pick one of those and I will see you in the next video.